Would you like to save over 50% of the taxes that you're currently paying to the federal government? Of course, we all would like to do it. This is a simple strategy that very, very few people are doing. I wanna make sure it's on your radar screen that you know about it. And no, it does not involve buying real estate in Florida or anything complicated. It's much simpler for that. Let's go for a walk and talk about it. And essentially what I'm talking about is investing in companies that pay qualified dividends. So these are gonna be normal US companies, big name blue chip companies uh, that you've heard of, operating companies that you know are, are selling goods and services. They're not financial engineering companies. I don't like mentioning names of companies on my channel, but today just for the sake to give you an idea of what regular dividend paying stocks are, there are companies like Coca-Cola, Clorox, Procter & Gamble, uh, companies that, that provide goods and services uh, to the United States. They're, they're, they're companies, they're producing things. Uh, and, and so they're not real estate companies. They're not investment companies. Those typically are not gonna qualify uh, for qualified dividends. In order for this strategy to work, it has to be qualified dividends. You can find out a lot more uh, just by Googling what is a qualified dividend. Uh, turns out it's gotta be a, a company that trades on the US Stock Exchange. There's, there's other criteria. I don't like to go into uh, complications on this channel, that's not the idea. The idea of this channel is for it to be educational and put things on your radar screen that I think you can benefit from. And if it resonates with you, if you say, hey, you know, I'd like to know more about that. Hey, Asul, thank you for, for sharing that information. You can do research on your own. You can hire a fee-only financial advisor. You can, in this case, you can hire an accountant uh, to look into that and, and just see if it's right for you and your family. But, you know, if you're married and you file your tax returns as married filing jointly, you can make a little over $89,000 a year almost $90,000, that's a lot of money. Uh, and if it comes from qualified dividends, you know what, at the federal tax level, again, married filing jointly, I'm not an accountant, talk to an accountant on this, uh, but if they're qualified dividends, it's very simple, just look it up in the tax tables. The federal tax liability on that is zero. Uh, and if you look at that and compare it to maybe interest that your bank's gonna pay, right, right now, banks, as I record this in June of 2023, you know, banks are basically paying in the four to 5% range, but you know what? All of that's gonna be taxed as ordinary income. So yeah, again, if your only income was just from these uh, qualified dividends, that's, that's the limit. Now, uh, you know, if you're making, already if you're making, uh, like just for easy math for me, $79,000 a year, then yeah, and that's everything full in. Then it's that extra twenty thousand dollar. Would it be twenty? Uh, if you're making seventy nine thousand, it would be an extra ten thousand. Excuse me. Uh, that's why you need to talk to an accountant or hire a fee only financial advisor. But the idea of looking at dividend stocks and the idea of knowing the power of uh, dividend stocks it's 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 really a, a big advantage. And you know, people say to me, they they say, you know, hey, I saw. That sounds too good to be true. Why does the US government do that? And the reason they do that is because dividends are paid out from the money that companies have, the company that's paying it out. Uh, let's just call it company ABC. And let's just say it's a company like one of the other companies that I mentioned earlier. You know, They produce a, a, a good or service uh, that the country needs and you know they're nationwide and they're listed on the public exchange and your accountant says, yes, this is a qualified dividend. Um, the reason the government does that is the company, again, we're calling it company ABC, they have already paid taxes on this money. Uh, so a company makes money and they're paying taxes at the corporate rates. And then for them to give you that money, if that was taxed as ordinary income for you, essentially it would be double taxation, right? Uh, and one of the things our country is, is founded on is us having say uh, in taxation, right? Uh, ever since that uh, Boston Tea Party, uh, Americans have had it drilled 
uh, into us that we get to be part of that conversation. We get to talk about how things are taxed. And when you look at that and say, hey, the companies that made this profit, they're just sending out cash flow that's already been taxed. It would be, almost be like, you know, if, if you're married and, and you earned money at work, right? And, and, and then your spouse says, hey, I need, a, I need $100 to pay the cell phone bill. If you giving her that hundred dollars, him or her, I should say, if you giving your spouse that hundred dollars uh, would count as that spouse's taxable income, right? We'd all look at that and say, that's not fair. That's not right. Uh, but that's essentially what happens when the company pays tax on, on their free cash flow and then sends it out. Now, the thing with uh, dividend stocks that you have to be careful is yes they are tax favorable yes um, yes you can uh, if it's your only income you can earn almost ninety thousand dollars and not pay any federal tax on it but you have to look at how did this company earn their dividends right I mean it's Yes, you're interested in the return on your investment, but you're also very interested in the return of your investment. So if you invest a thousand dollars in a company and 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 they're paying you, let's say fifty dollars let me use a hundred thousand dollars. It's easier math for me. If you invest a hundred thousand dollars in a company uh, and and they're giving you back, four or five thousand dollars a year well hey that's nice that's a you know that's a good return in today's world vis-a-vis -vis the banks uh it's kind of market uh the bank has no risk but you know what the bank that's probably going to be taxable income for you so yes it's nice that company abc on your hundred thousand dollar investment gave you back $5,000 as a qualified dividend. But more important, you wanna know you're gonna get your $100,000 back. And ideally, you want that $100,000 to grow in value as well. And if you pick your dividend stocks well, historically, there's a subset of dividend stocks. Again, you just have to look for them. Um, this channel is not about stock picks. I will never give you a stock pick uh, on this channel. That, in my opinion, would be irresponsible because uh, I don't know your situation. But if you pick the company wisely, um, the dividend should have a history of increasing at a rate faster than inflation. So in that example where you put $100,000 in a company and it's paying you $5,000, well, you know, if over the next three years, inflation totals to $10,000, I mean, I'm sorry, to 10% over a three year period, then hopefully in three years, instead of $5,000, you're getting $5,500. I hope that makes sense. I hope it also makes sense for you to continue watching my videos. I know you'll like this video up here that talks about the average income for a retiree in America. In this video down here that talks about five reasons to retire as soon as you can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.